Hey guys, welcome to London Lips YouTube channel. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you're not. Today we're talking about Krishan Rock. Is she a clout chaser? Or is she stupidly in love? At this point, Krishan's a groupie. This man dished your kid, he denied your kid, he beat you, he proposed to his baby mama in your face. He didn't care if you'd seen that shit. He talked badly about you every day. He said you was a hoe. He said every man had been through on you. He didn't even know who the father of your child was. He showed your child's private parts on the internet. And you're circling around, loving on him, going down the jaw with him. At this point, you're a groupie. You're not a baby mama. You're a groupie. Then you're saying you're going to sit in your house. You are not going to go outside. You are going to suffer for half a year while Blueface is in prison. You're going to wait around. You're not going to do no shows. You're not going to get on with your life. When this man was out here on the road, this man was with Jaden and Alexis every day. He was buying BBLs for her. He was buying her a new home. He was buying her a car. And let me tell you, girl, half those things he bought was with your money, okay? Not just his money, your money and his money. He was spending the money on Jaden and Alexis. He got on his knees. He was proposing. That man did not care about you at all. Oh, not at all you seen how we talked about your child so at this point i'm saying this girl is like a groupie she must be with him for the clout she must literally be clout chasing because at this point i find it hard to believe that she's you know running around with blue face just because she's got feelings for him this is giving clout chasing groupie because people always say baby mum is a bit a baby father like him of course you would be a little bit nobody would be running around you know hugging on him loving on him when he is dissed them out publicly like this i mean Jaden alexis publicly has the wifey title and she's still passed and moved on with a new bitch it's Krishan always out here trying to be his ride and die when he ain't her ride and die. And it's just giving groupie. It's giving like, she's clout chasing, yeah. She knows when she hangs on to Blueface. Blueface is basically Krishan's claim for fame. Without Blueface, there's no Krishan. Krishan is not going to be big without him. And that's why practically every song is about Blueface. It's another Blueface love song. It's another F my baby daddy. Every song's about Blueface. Everything in her life is about Blueface. And it's because Blueface is literally, you know, her route to a bag. And that's the only reason she's waiting for him. Now, see Jade and Alexis, she ain't a groupie, she ain't a gold digger, and she ain't a clout chaser because she can pass on him. Despite the fact that her claim to fame is her baby daddy, blue face, the nigga she's had for years since she was young, she can pass on him. And the reason she can pass on him is because she ain't a clout chaser, she ain't a gold digger, she's not that fame hungry. If the fame comes to her, she'd take it, but she ain't that bothered, and that's why she can pass on him. And I feel like most women would be at least taking a break from him, a break that they would want to take. But Krishan's behaviour is just giving full groupie. If we're totally honest, you know, all the tattoos was just over the top. It was a little bit weird to have that many tattoos of one man all over you. Why would you have that many tattoos of one man on you? It could be groupie, obsession, or something else is going on there. Krishan has had fond words to say about Diddy recently, and I haven't heard too many people have anything positive to say about Diddy. But because Diddy stuck up for her when against the Zeus manager, you know, she's had some good things to say about Diddy. Now, what does she think Diddy has in mind in that? If you ask me, Diddy probably seen the clout chasing in her, knows she wants her career real bad. Diddy has probably has some freak off, freak off plans for her. So when she's attending Diddy's party, she better be very, very careful because there's nothing positive that comes from attending them parties. As a woman, she shouldn't have anything positive to say about Diddy. Most guys have got nothing positive to say about him neither. But for a woman to have something positive to say about Diddy after all these things have came out about him is just crazy to me. Now, I've got a lot of love for Krishan. But, you know, she's got to stop this now. Come on. She's got to stop this now. Because there is girls watching her right now. And they're thinking this is okay to be a ride and die for a nigga that treats you and you like shit. And that's just not okay. And that's not the message we're trying to put out here in 2024. You know, you treat people how they treat you. And if someone treats you badly, then you just don't have no time for them. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's Krishan Clout Chasing. I'll see you guys on another one.